so now oh we are moving on y'all we're so ready for this baby to come in we got us a big box if you haven't grabbed your snack yet take a break drink some water do what you got to do because i'm not done yet <laughs> hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel or if you're new thanks for clicking on my video so i am finally filming my sephora vib sale haul i was waiting for a few more products to come in i am still waiting they had a disclaimer saying shipping was taking a little longer so unfortunately i'm missing i think three items i'll tell you what they are but i just wanted to get this video out to show you what i actually bought and to let you know if i'm going to be bringing any of it back because i lost my mind so before we get into the video if you're new i would love to have you join the family so please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time i upload i do a lot of hauls i'm letting you know right now there are probably going to be a lot of hauls from now to the end of the year because there are a lot of sales for the holidays and I just can't resist a good sale. But hauls, tutorials, reviews, hair, makeup, nails, all of it. So if you want to see what I picked up, I have two boxes and a bag. So it's going to be a long one. Stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so we're gonna jump right in. This is the bag, it was a little one because I went in the store to swatch some stuff to see what shades I needed. And then the boxes, we got a small box and a bigger box. So we're gonna start with the bag. The first thing that I picked up, no particular order, is this Patrick Star One Size Three Queens set. I picked this up because I wanted to try out the primer. I already have the setting powder, which I actually use today under my eyes. Definitely keeps you matte. Um, and then the setting spray was new. I hadn't tried that yet. I know I like one. I've heard the primer's good and I love trying a good setting spray. So figured the deal was worth it. This next purchase was a bit of an impulsive buy. This is the just lost my earring, hold on. All right, let's try this again. This is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. Now this, I picked up because I was looking at the Rose Quartz Palette and I wasn't sure I was gonna love it. And then I was like, you know, let me just see what this one's about because I heard a lot of people talking about it and saying it was really great. And then I swatched a couple shades and I was like, why am I picking up the rose quartz when I think I like this better. They are kind of similar, but I'll go ahead and show you. I'm sure you've seen this. This isn't new. This is the shades right here. Very pretty shades. Of course, these blues, this purple attracted me, but I also felt like this shade looks very similar to the rose quartz shade. And then it kind of leaned more towards like burgundy. I don't know. Matter of fact, let me just show you both of them. All right, I'm a big fat lie. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I actually made four trips, so I have two bags. This was tucked in the box. And disclaimer, if you guys can notice, my face is a little swollen. I had a filling done and it is still swollen. I tried to wait it out, but I'm ready to film. So if you notice, that's what happened. Um, this is the Rose Quartz palette. I did film a look with this. So you guys are going to see that and get my thoughts on it. And then this is what the packaging itself looks like. I think this is so pretty and just, I think that attracted me more than anything else. But once I show you these shades, you're gonna see how similar. So this is Rose Quartz on this side. And Lord, please don't drop this. And this is Mercury Retrograde. So as you can see, this one, I guess is maybe a little more, the Retrograde is a little more springtime kind of vibes versus this is like cool toned, light, maybe winterish, but I don't know when I looked at it and maybe it's because of the blues, I just felt like the Mercury Retrograde kind of drew me in more. So I picked it up because of the sale, but I also picked up the Rose Quartz because I wanted to do a review on it. So you guys will see that, but this is what it looks like. I'm just trying to make sure. I feel like it looks a little darker than what it's translating on camera, but either way, a lot of these shades are really light 
and I just hadn't seen a lot of reviews on it so I wanted to try it for myself but I'm not sure about this palette I don't know so picked up both of Huda Beauty's palettes and one of them is going to go back because I don't need to. Another item I picked up in store is the Patrick Star One Size Turn Up The Base Foundation Powder. I honestly have heard a lot about this. I've heard it's great coverage. And I think I mentioned a while back that I wanted to do like a powder foundation routine. So I wanted to try this out. I'm not... I'm not sure on the shade. I think it's good. I swatched it in store, but I just feel like the way it looks in the pan versus how it looks on your skin is a bit different. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. I feel like this is a little gold. I picked up the shade Dark 3R, which is supposed to be rosy undertones. No, I guess that'll be all right. You can see it a little bit right there. It blends pretty well though, so... We're going to see what that looks like trying to use this solely as my base as opposed to using a liquid foundation. I'm not sure because I haven't done that in years, but I'm excited to try it out. I also decided to pick up the Kosas. This is their Super Creamy and Brightening Revealer Concealer. I picked up mine in the shade 08 Tone, which I don't know what that means. Or is it 80? I think it's 08 but this is what it looks like. The shade is a little bit darker than what I normally do if I'm doing full glam, but I wanted something that would not look, ooh, that is actually a lot darker than I thought. So this is gonna be more just to conceal like every day. That almost looks like, it's not my skin tone, it's a little bit lighter, but this would be more like I'm just headed to the store real quick or run a quick errand and I want to cover up my under eye circles, but not have to worry about it being too bright. So I've heard good things about this and I wanted something a little more lightweight. I've been using concealers like that a lot more lately, mainly because I'm home a lot more, but I think it also just gives me an excuse to try something different and I've heard good things about it. All right, so on my next trip, this was actually the first trip I made to the store and I did a curbside pickup for this because this was when the Braves won the championship and the mall is right by the stadium. So people were tailgating. There was no parking for the mall. Thank God for curbside pickup. I was able to get my hands on the Patrick Ta blush palette. This is the, what's it called? Major Headlines Blush Palette. This is straight FOMO. I ain't even gonna lie. Everybody was talking about it. I do have one of the blush duos. Uh, I think it's She's So Different. And I told y'all I was gonna pick this up mainly because, because <laughs> I love the packaging. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. It looks just like the eyeshadow palette, which I did buy when it came out and I brought it back. Didn't love it. I'm not keeping stuff I don't love. Oh, I thought this had been swatched. I was about to have a fit, but yeah, luckily they still had this in the store, so I was able to go pick it up. I would wear, I'm a little nervous about these shades. I'm not even gonna lie, but I am gonna try them because why not? But this right up my alley and it kind of looks like what I have already, maybe a little more on the brown side. And then this is just, I love shades like this too. So. I thought this was definitely worth it for me. I wasn't gonna swatch, but you know what? I can't help it. I have to see what these hot pink shades look like. So the very first two that I said are kind of scary. If you don't know, one is a cream, the other is a blush, and then it has this little flap right here to cover the cream. So that is what the two shades look like there. And then on my skin, Ooh, wow. Okay, that is a lot more fluorescent than it looks on the screen. I can, yeah, let me pull it back here. That's what it looks like. That is a very hot pink. And the other pink is under it. These are meant to be layered with the powder first and then the cream on top to give you a more dewy look. So yeah, that is a lot brighter than I thought, but I'm excited to play with it. This next item I picked up, I think because of a recommendations video, Camellia Yvette, I believe, talked about it. And it was sold out online. All the Sephora brand items were 30% off. It was sold out online, but they had it in the store. This is their Micro Smooth Face Palette. 
This is in Captivate. So this is what the box looked like. Look, I'm just ready to open stuff and swatch and look at it. And then this is the packaging here. So I think it's absolutely beautiful. And it is that baked formula. So you can see it is kind of like a dome. This is a highlighter. This is supposed to be like a bronzer. I don't think that's contouring anything on me, but definitely could bronze and then two blushes. I don't even know if this is gonna bronze to be honest, but yeah, those are very pretty, nice and smooth, micro smooth. I love those blushes. Those are the four shades there. So these first two are the blushes, which are those, I hope those are showing up. And then this is the highlighter, which is a little more gold than I like, but I could definitely pull it off. And then with the bronzer right here. So you definitely get some color payoff but I think this is a gorgeous palette and I love this formula. I love their face powder, the Micro Smooth face powder. So yeah, I thought this was definitely gonna be something I could get some use out of. And again, 30% off. I believe I picked up two of these because I forgot I ordered one and then I picked one up in the store. I don't know. <laughs> this is the One Size Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. I had trouble picking out a shade for this and I'm looking at the shade of this Kosas one. It's not really drying down. It still feels a little sticky, but that literally almost looks like my skin tone. Maybe a little bit brighter. So I might have to exchange that. I don't know. We're gonna keep going though, but this is the one size. This one is in the shade one, dark one in, and it says for neutral undertones. I don't like, I had trouble with these. I felt like some of the shades were like super yellow. See, that's a beautiful shade. That is a gorgeous shade. That is what I like right there. I still think that's not, I have some that are brighter. I know that. So this will be more for like, you want to do a full face and then maybe use like a lighter powder if you want to brighten it or do something a little more natural. But I think that is a gorgeous shade. We'll see how it looks when it dries down. But this shade... I definitely, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think it's going to be a keeper. So now we are moving into box number one, which is kind of big, but it's one thing in here that is really big. So I'm just going to try to pull all this stuff out real quick. Just a side note for you guys to tell you how and why I do my shopping the way I do. I do prefer to use online as much as I can because I like to use Rakuten to get cash back. So even though it was only 2% cash back, it's still, when you spend in five, six, seven hundred dollars, two percent is two percent and i want all of the money back that i can save plus with my credit card company right now paypal payments i got five percent cash back on so stack it up and give it back so that's why i bought a lot of stuff online even though i went to the store because i wanted to save more money if you don't know what rakuten is it is a browser extension that you can use actually there's an app but I do it on my phone, on my computer a lot because it reminds me to do it versus having to shop through the app. But you get cash back when you shop at certain retailers. So I recently placed an order on Elf's website. They had 20% cash back. So there's, I think they had like 30% or 40% off on their website. And then I got 20% cash back on top of that. So I spent like $100 on a face full of stuff and I got 20% cash back. I have my PayPal account set up with it. So every three months I get an email saying I'm getting a big fat check and they give me all the money back that has accumulated over three months. I do have a link in my description box. If you want to sign up for Rakuten right now, they're doing, I think, a 40% referral. So if you sign up and you place an order, you get cash for doing it and I do too. So use my link down below to sign up. If you're shopping for the holidays, it's the best way to do it. Okay, back to shopping. So I also picked up this Milk Hydro Grip Eye Primer. This was honestly just because it was new. I hadn't heard a lot about it and I wanted to try it. It says a double dose to hydrate and to hold. It grips your pigment, locks on the color. 93% natural infused with hemp derived, derived cannabis. I normally use a eye primer that has a lighter base to cancel out the darkness on my eyelids and this does not have that. Hopefully it is not like a silicone-y kind of formula. 
Oh, this is interesting. This is what the applicator looks like. Um, and it doesn't seem, is this broke? No, that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, okay, there we go. This is weird. It kind of feels like it has a little bit of a slip to it, like silicone, but it's not sticky like the Hydro Grip Primer. You guys can't see anything. It's right there on my hand. It just kind of disappears, but it feels like it has a little slip to it. So I'm curious how that's gonna hold on to shadows if it doesn't dry down or get sticky. I will definitely be trying this soon and I'll keep you posted on how it works. This next purchase was kind of just because sale on sale. This is the Violet Voss Glitter Topper Liquid Glitter Gel. I don't wear glitter a lot. I do have like a little bit on my inner corners here just because I felt like playing and I wanted something to kind of brighten up this eye look because it got very dark, very quick. I decided to use my, which one was it? I used one of my duochrome shadows and I honestly can't remember which one it was. Mm, I'll put it in the description box or somewhere here on the screen, but it was absolutely gorgeous, but I was like, okay, we're going for a smoky look. It's winter, that's fine. But this is the shade Infinity. This is what it looks like. Very, very pretty. And it better not be dried out. Okay, it's not. Sometimes I have bad look. Oh, I thought this was going to break. Uh, let's see. Let's put this on top of that. Ooh. That is what the shade looks like right there. Why am I swatching stuff way over there? Is this better? It's like a pink kind of silver iridescent looks a little duochrome but i think it's just because of the shimmers that are in it super pretty almost like a rose gold i hope it's not going to be flaky i don't like like i want them to go on and be smooth i think i prefer more like a liquid foil as opposed to a liquid glitter should we put some is that gonna match let's see i'm gonna try it why not yeah see i don't know i feel like these, this might be kind of old because like I'm dipping in here right now and hardly anything is coming off on the brush. Well, it might be all right. This just has a little more shine than what I originally had on my eyes, but I don't, I don't think I'm keeping this. Like when I opened it, it looked kind of separated and now I'm dipping my brush in. Maybe I'll have to talk, take the stopper out, but honestly... Nothing's coming out on the wand now. Like I dip in and then I pull out and there's nothing on this wand at all. And that is not cool. So it was a nice thought, but I'm not keeping this. I don't care how much I paid for it. If it doesn't work, it's going back. Next, I picked up the Fashion Fair Cream to Powder Skin Foundation. I picked up Blessed Bronze. I was struggling because I felt like there were like three shades that could match me. And this was the darkest one of the three that they had that I thought might match because I have no idea how these are going to dry down. I hadn't seen a lot of reviews and sometimes it's hard watching other reviews on YouTube. See, this looks dark now, but I don't know because it looks kind of golden, but it looks a little red. So this one, okay, let's see what it says. I looked at fine chestnut, which said medium to neutral undertones. I looked at rich brownie, which said medium with cool red undertones. And then I settled on this one, which is medium with warm golden undertones. So let's just swatch it and see. It's a shade that I like, but I'm worried it might be a little dark and I have nowhere to put this. So that is the shade there. It does look a little dark. What's new with Barbara buying foundations? I'm just so scared of looking ashy with my foundation and I have had that happen before that I have a tendency to go darker, but I'm probably gonna exchange this one. I don't wanna go rich brownie, so it might have to be fine chestnut with the neutral undertones. I may try this on first to see since I've already swatched it, they're gonna damage it out anyway, but I'm gonna let this dry down and see how it looks because I can always lighten it up a little bit with powder, but I think, I think it's gonna have to be exchanged. I also decided to pick up Patrick Star's Visionary Eyeshadow Palette. I honestly picked this up. It was on sale, sale on sale. 
I have this palette already and I love it and I've been looking at it go on and off sale for a couple months now because I wanted to get one to include in a giveaway so I thought now would be the perfect time so I'm not gonna open this I was y'all know what this looks like I'll put a picture here on the screen I think it's gorgeous this was up on my vanity use every day because the warm tone shades in it were perfect for like a super easy everyday neutral look and I think this is a great beginner palette with some pops of color and I really like the formula I'm not sure I haven't heard a lot about it you know people saying if they like it love it whatever but I don't really need other people to love it for me to love it and I do so I wanted to give one to someone else I picked up a couple hair care products this first one I told you guys I was going to get this this is the Kerastase Genesis Defense Thermique it says fortifying blow dry fluid for weakened hair prone to falling due to breakage from brushing. I've said it a million times. I treat my hair like it's damaged. I don't use a lot of heat. This is currently, when I get my hair done, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday. So today is Monday. I have not put heat on my hair again. I try to only do it the day that I do it and then I don't do it again. So Lots of thermal protection products to try to keep my ends from splitting and to keep my hair healthy. This brand's pretty expensive, so this was the time that I was going to buy it. I also picked up a backup of my Olaplex Number no. 6 Bond Smoothing Leave-In Reparative Styling Cream. I do use this every single time I wash my hair. This you put on, uh, is it middling to ends? Yeah, middling to ends. And it's just a leave on that's good to help with split ends and damage and all that stuff. So I have one of these left. I'm running low on one. I have a backup. This is my second backup. I do not want to be without this. I picked up a perfume sampler and I love getting these because you pay for small samples. I think this has, this has eight and then you get a voucher to pick up one of the samples in the full size. So this one comes with Dolce & Gabbana Rose, which I know I'm not going to pick up. Um, Daisy by Marc Jacobs, Oh So Intense. Skylar, Vanilla Sky. Ellis Brooklyn B. Uh, Giorgio Armani, Tara DeGio. I'm sure I said that wrong. Juliet Has a Gun, Pear Ink. Maison Louis Marie, number 12. And the Versace Dylan Turquoise. I already know I want the Juliet Has a Gun. I got a sample of this in my Lux SB subscription and I absolutely love it. And so when I saw this, I was like, it's a no brainer. I did also want to try the Ellis Brooklyn B and I know that I love the Versace Dylan Turquoise. So I was like, well, there's a few in here, but after smelling the Juliet has a gun, I know that's what I want. So just to show you what it looks like, these are the samples here just regular little sample sizes like if you went into the store and then you get to try them and this is your coupon to get the one that you want so I love getting these and I actually picked up two of them so I guess I can show you the other one now honestly the second one was a mistake I don't know I thought the Juliet has a gun pair one was in that one too I don't know what I was thinking y'all I was just shopping fast trying to get stuff before it sold out and I don't think I can bring it back so let me show you the other one real quick because I got to find a scent that I like in there to be able to exchange. So this one is a $75 value, but it retails for $138 because one of the sample sizes in here, I think, um, one of the originals in here, I think is $130. So this one has six deluxe size samples. The first one is Juliet has a gun and that's the plain one. And I think I just saw that and I don't know, my brain thought pear and I picked it up. Then this one also has clean reserve. I think this is the nectar, brilliant nectar, clean reserve, radiant nectar. Then it has Giorgio Armani my way, which I kind of like, but I'm trying to find more of like a winter scent. I do my warm florals. I think they smell amazing. 99% of the time, but lately I've been wanting something a little heavier, a little more sultry, a little more musky, like intense and sensual. And the florals just aren't really doing it for me. So I tried the Michael Kors Gorgeous and I love that one. So I may end up picking that up too. I got to find it on sale somewhere for the holidays, but this has Versace, which one is it? Dylan Blue, which I already have. It's okay. 
The Valentino Voce Viva, I like that one a lot. It says it's a floral. And then the Moroccan Oil Hair and Body Mist. I don't know why anybody would pick that up, but whatever. It says warm and spicy. So definitely some different options in this one. I don't, it said final sale on my receipt, so I don't think I can bring this back. So I gotta find something I love and I will let y'all know which one I end up picking up. So now, oh, we are moving on. Y'all, we're so ready for this baby to come in. We got us a big box. I can already tell you right now, I think there's one thing in here that's gonna go back. I'm gonna start with this one because it's one of the biggest things in the box. This is the Sephora Favorites Black Owned Beauty Brands. Love supporting black owned brands. And there are some products in here that I know I love already or I haven't tried and I've wanted to. So this has the Ottawa Beauty Bow Mint Deep Conditioning Treatment. I haven't tried that. The Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Hair Mask. I have tried and I love. Fenty Full Frontal Mascara, I love. Pat McGrath Full Size Lipstick in here. That is value enough by itself. Love that brand, of course. And then this Bread Hair Oil, I've never tried, but I wanted to. And then the Fenty Skin. This is the cleanser. I hadn't tried that yet. I tried the Hydrovisor SPF and I like that. I'm thinking about picking that up. So anyway, I just thought this was a great value and I wanted to try most of the stuff in here if I hadn't already and knew there were some things that I loved. So, oh, stuff falling. And these are some pretty good sizes too. Like I said, the Pat McGrath is a full size and then this is everything else. So this is definitely worth the money. Next, I picked up the Fashion Fair Fabulous Priming Serum. Again, this is another black owned brand and I just wanted to try it out. I love foundations, I love eyeshadow, and I love primer. So anytime there's something new, gives me an excuse to try it. So it says primer serum, I'm not sure. Let's see what it says. It says apply it to clean moisturized skin, let it set for 15 seconds and then wear alone or under makeup. So not sure what all the claims are that it's supposed to do. I can list them right here. But yeah, it's a serum, so skincare benefits in a primer, always a good thing. I picked up two of the Beauty Blender, what are these things called? Pocket, Power Pocket Puffs. This is FOMO. People were talking about it, saying how good it was to set this area and to look more airbrushed. So I don't know why I picked up two instead of just one. Maybe because if one got dirty, I don't know how often you have to replace these or if you can wash them, but... Whatever, I think they were like $15. So I just bought into the hype and wanted to see how good they were and if they really work as well as people say they do. So I'll keep you posted on that. This next item was something that I just kind of bought on a whim. I think it was on sale already, which made it even more intriguing for me. But this is the Ju Jouer Gather and Glow Champagne and Macaroons Face Palette. I don't have anything from Jouer. I used to use their lip serum or lip balm, whatever. And I liked it, but I've always wanted to try their highlighter. I wanted to try their foundation, but I couldn't find a shade that matched. So this is what it looks like. I think this is really pretty and I felt like the shades were going to be deep enough that I could use everything. Let me go ahead. I'm always like, what's the bronzer going to do? Yeah, that bronzer is definitely dark enough. Mm -hmm. It'll bronze. It's not contouring anything. That's it right there. It looks a little more red, almost like it's a blush. Definitely not a contour, but the two blushes are almost like that micro smooth formula. Ooh, that is very pigmented and very pretty. They have names. This darker one is called Tempt Me and then the lighter one is called Charm Me. I think these would be very pretty to layer too, but I love this shade right here and it has a nice little sheen. And then the highlighter, let's see. This is in the shade Skinny Dip, which I think is one of their more popular shades. That is pretty. That is definitely gorgeous, not too gold. And it looks like just that wet formula. It's not very glittery. Ooh, that is pretty. That looks like it just blended into my skin. So definitely a keeper. Up next, we have the LYS Beauty. This is the highlighter. I think these just came out. 
I looked at the blushes for a while and I decided I didn't want any more cream blushes. I have enough. I did pick up the foundation when it came out and I picked up the primer. I don't even think I've used that primer yet. I like the foundation. I think the shade's too dark. I had trouble with that too. This is when you were shopping in line, online and you couldn't swatch anything. But I held off. I didn't get the bronzer. I didn't get the blush. But this highlighter though, I picked up the shade Brave. This is their Aim High Pressed Highlighter Powder. This looks very glittery. I don't know if you can see that or not. And it probably won't help putting it this close, but I don't think it's going to be as smooth as the Jouer one I just swatched. But this shade, ooh, it is not glittery. That is super intense, though. That looks foiled. Wow. Okay, I eat my words. This is super intense. But it also looks like it just blends into the skin well and just gives you a sheen. So definitely glad I picked that up and I kind of held off on the others because I knew I didn't really need, I don't need any of this stuff. Let's not tell that lie. But if I'm going to try something from the brand, I want it to be something I'm going to gravitate towards more. And that is definitely it. I knew I was going to pick this up as soon as I saw the shades. This is the Huda Beauty Jaguar Wild Obsessions Palette. I picked this up for the greens. I picked this up for the neutrals. You know what's crazy? I picked up the Khaki Haze palette a while back. I still haven't used that. I just, I get in these phases where I'm like, I need to have this. I need to have this. And then I get it. And then I buy something else and I just forget about it. So I need to pull these out and play with them more because the nine pans can be a bit of a hit or a miss, but purple, green, gold, cool toned, absolutely gorgeous. This purple shade in the middle, I was not trying to swatch all this, but it has like a, it's kind of like a topper. Figured that was going to be the case, but it is still beautiful. This green, oh, this green, it's like a olive. None of these are like duochromes or anything like that. I don't think she makes those, but those are the foiled shades right there. And you can see these are just super pretty, super shiny. Oh, that green. Yeah. I definitely think, especially with the shades of the mattes, that this could be a very wearable palette, but you could also amp it up, add some shine, and make a very glam look. So yeah, I knew I was going to get this one. If you haven't grabbed your snack yet, take a break, drink some water, do what you got to do because I'm not done yet. The next thing I picked up, I'm trying to keep everything... Did I get two of those? Oh, no. <laughs> this is the LYS Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. I was about to say, I have been looking for a setting powder in a pan form because sometimes I do want to touch up this area of my face and I'm not going to travel with a loose powder. I used to use the Sacha Pressed Powder, but I don't know. That's in my travel bag. I've never taken it out and it's yellow. So I wanted something a little more neutral, so I picked this up. It is picking up a little tiny bit yellow, but it is translucent, like it looks like the Laura Mercier powder. When you swatch a lot of it, it looks pretty scary. Hopefully this will blend into the skin well. Yeah, it's definitely gonna have a very brightening effect, so you have to have a light hand with that. But again, it'll be just to lightly touch up here and add a little brightness if my concealer is dark like that Kosas one. So those will probably work well together. This next item, honestly, I think I just had my eyes on it for a while and I saw it in the store and I was just like, you know what? Now you can stop thinking about it and go ahead and get it. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Gold Palette. Again, it looked kind of camo-ish with that olive green and the gold. So yeah. That's what sold me. Anything with those type of shades are going to get me every time. I feel like I have so many green eyeshadow palettes, but I love Natasha Denona's formula. So it's really kind of a no brainer. If there's a palette and it has some shades in it that I like, I'm going to get them. I swatched. Oh, well, let's go ahead and swatch that last one. Because a lot of times her stuff comes off a lot darker on the eye or wherever you swatch it. Those are the shades there. I have one on my thumb as well. But these shades up here, like these are just 
this is Natasha Denona's formula that we all know. And even if you don't like her, you got to love the formula. I will never, unless it's something really bad, I'm not going to shy away from a good formula. So yeah, these are so smooth. Oh my God. I've been holding off on picking this up and yeah, see that light one. I don't know how it ends up looking almost like if you pack it on light and blend it out, it looks darker, but these other shades are so smooth. And this, even though it's a satin, like a kind of foiled shade, you could still use this on your outer V to add some darkness and dimension. So this is a super cute, this would be very travel friendly too. Instead of just always having my browns, I will put this in my travel bag to use. I'm glad I picked this one up. I picked up this set and I'm still not sure I want to keep it mainly because of the price. This is the Forever Mood. This is the, I don't know, it was a, I don't know the name of it. I guess it doesn't have a name. It says, <laughs> it says open to get lit. I don't know what I was reading. This is in Floral Play and Sip Happens. I don't like floral candles. I knew that before I bought it, but I think this set was like $70. And one candle by itself is $40. So I was like, well, how about you get two instead of one? But if you don't like it, how much sense does that make? It doesn't make any. So I don't know. I don't know if these are the same size as the original candles. This is a 10 ounce. Let's double check because this might make me feel better. Okay, so cuffing season, a regular 10 ounce candle is $38. This set was $72. It's not saving that much, but you get two 10 ounce candles. See, Sip Happens, I like. I like this one a lot. But Floral Play, I don't know. And I think it's because it says it has gardenia in it. Is that what it was? Yeah, floral, brilliant notes of gardenia infused with warm strokes of white cedar and bergamot. And I thought that's why I would like it because of the bergamot. It's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I don't know when I smelled it in the store, maybe I just had other stuff that was mixed in and I was just like, I don't know, but yeah, I'm definitely keeping these and I'm glad I finally get to try Jackie Ina's candles. This next item I picked up, I've been looking at this. I waited for the sale. It was still there. This is the Beauty Blender, the Leveler Pore Minimizing Primer. It's smoothing and filling. This is kind of silicone-y. I swatched it in the store. This is in the shade Tan to Deep. And it basically says instantly smooth large pores, fine lines and uneven texture with this featherweight mattifying primer. This is tiny. This is really small. And I definitely glad I picked it up. It was sale on sale. And when I was trying to try it out in the store, I had trouble getting it out of this container because it's just like a little squeeze tube. But I'll just show you real quick, a tiny little bit. See like I'm having trouble squeezing this out right now. Um, it is a deeper shade. Definitely can't see it on my skin, but it is that kind of silicone feeling. Doesn't have a smell, but it definitely smooths things out. So I'm looking to use that in this area here on my cheeks and then also on my forehead. This is the other Patrick Star concealer. This is in the shade Medium Dark 4 Golden. Is it Golden Olive? Yeah, Golden Olive. So. I'm going to swatch these two next to each other and I'm going to let them dry down. So this is that shade there. Let me get the other one. Glad I just thought to look because this was sitting in my trash bag. So this is the shade Dark 1N. So I can put these next to each other and see which one I like more. So this first one is Medium Dark 4 Golden Olive. This one up here and then this one down here is Dark 1 Neutral. So I'm gonna let these dry down, make a decision and bring one back because I don't need both. I decided to pick up this set. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss Mini Trio. I do have one of these, the darker shade Velvet already in the full size and I said I wanted to try other ones. So when I saw they were coming out with this set, I thought it would be perfect because I don't use it a lot and so I didn't wanna get three full size ones but these other shades are also lighter and I didn't know how much I was going to like them. So I thought this would be a perfect way to try it out either by itself or with a lip liner to wear as my lip color. We getting there y'all. The next thing I picked up 
I'm not sure about this. I ordered this. This was my first order. And then I went into the store and I swatched it. And I'm not sure how I feel about these shades. So let me get my hand ready so y'all can see the swatches. This is the NARS, what's it called? High Profile Cheek Palette. This is six blushes. I think one of them is more like a highlighter. This is what the packaging looks like if you haven't seen it. And then this is what this looks like. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know. I just kind of feel like I'm trying to make sure you guys get the true colors. Like the colors are pretty. I just, I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and swatch. So the highlighter shade is a little dark, but definitely wearable. Like two of these shades, these are the lightest shades in there. I feel like I don't know that I would even wear these. Well, maybe. Yeah, I guess I could. Those are the two shades right there. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this highlighter. That's more like a bronzy shade, but I still think it's really pretty. That's definitely wearable. Let me see what these other shades look like. I guess I just felt like I wasn't sure I was going to be in love with it. And it was kind of expensive. But then again, it's six colors. So this shade was the one I was most excited about. This shade here, because it kind of looks more like my everyday shade. And then these two are also pretty. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. They all show up really well. I didn't think they were going to show that well, but they do. So... I don't know. I'm going to try them on my face. I feel like these pans are also kind of small, but I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. I have NARS blushes that I've bought in the past and they're pretty old. I ain't getting rid of them. I don't think as long as they're still good, I'm going to keep them. But I don't know if they've changed their formula, you know, how these compare to the old ones. So I just wanted to try it and I like getting a variety of shades. I did also pick up the Fashion Fair Loose Powder. This is in the shade Warm Sunrise. I love trying out loose powder powders. I always set my under eyes with a loose powder. Kind of baking, but not really. This is, I hope you guys can see the shade there. It's a yellow, but it's like a, kind of like a peachy yellow, which I thought would be good because I don't like anything that looks too golden. So I think that name fits it to say it's warm sunrise versus like banana or something like that. But All right, down to the wire, three more products. Number one, this is a big daddy. This is why the box was so big. This is the Maison Louis Marie Diffuser and this is in the Balancourt number four. Better be, I think that's what I ordered. I don't see it on here, but yeah, I absolutely love diffusers. I like, yeah, number four. There it is. Water Balancourt. I love diffusers. This is big. This is eight and a half fluid ounces. So this is a pretty spot on dupe for the Santal 33 fragrance. I have this in the perfume oil. I have a candle. I have the perfume. And I also have the Santal 33 perfume oil. But I just love how this smells. It's a unisex scent, but it's very clean, smells expensive. And I just, I was like, this would be even better because the diffuser oil that I bought for my actual diffuser works really well, but my diffuser broke. So I was like, this will be good just to have with the reeds and I don't have to worry about it. Last two products are more Natasha Denona. First, I picked up her Glam Face Palette. I was very surprised that this came out the first day of the sale because it's new. And I thought they might have wanted to wait, but they didn't. This is so gorgeous. I did pick up the dark one. Oh, I haven't even opened this yet. I waited. I was a good girl. Look at how beautiful this is. This, if I wasn't scared it would break, would go in my travel bag. Because this is like staple, everyday blush, highlighter, and eye colors. The colors are perfect. Okay, which one's a cream? I think the blush is a cream. Yeah, cream blush and then a highlighter. Do I have any Natasha highlighters? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, I do. Never mind. And my big face palettes, but whatever. <laughs> this is different. So let me wipe this off so I can show you guys swatches. I don't know why I try to act like I don't have stuff. I'm crazy. Um, okay, let's see. Because I can't wait to see what this looks like. Hand is clear. We're going to look at these real quick. So... Patrick Star, I'm going to keep the golden olive. I'm going to bring back this dark neutral because that is almost my skin tone. I don't need any more of those. 
All right, into this Natasha, this blush. Oh, this is like the perfect everyday shade for me. This highlighter, y'all know I'm a Natasha Denona fan. Absolutely love that. Here's the blush. My perfect everyday blush shade. Ooh, I'm so excited. Because my other blush palettes, those big ones, like the $88 ones, you're not taking that nowhere. That's too big to try to travel with. And I think if they're not discontinued already, they've been on sale for a while because they're not going to be available anymore. And then I love that these eyeshadows say outer corner. Really? Outer corner? Hmm. There is a glimmer, a glittery shade that says outer corner, which I never put a glitter on my outer corner, but if that's what Natasha says, we'll try it. And then a transition, a smoke, inner corner, and crease. So this is basically like no fail. Oh, that is gorgeous. Okay, I see why that's an outer corner. Transition, smoke. Ooh, that's deep. Oh my God, I cannot wait to play in this. So those are the five shades there. This is outer corner on my pinky, transition, smoke, inner corner, and crease here. And then of course I'm gonna swatch. I'm gonna put smoke. Ooh, that is dark. That is smoke right there. And then this is inner corner, which I'll go ahead and put down here. And then transition, I accidentally just put right here. <laughs> so we'll keep up with that. And then this is crease, which we can put right here. And then this is outer corner, which we will put up here. That is a very pretty bronze shade. I'm glad I got this palette. I knew when I saw it that I was gonna want it. I just wasn't sure how much I was gonna love it. I thought it was gonna be good, but this is amazing. Last but not least, another Natasha Denona palette. I love how they package these so tight, like it's in this box and then it's wrapped in this paper. This is the Retro Palette. I went back and forth on this because I wasn't sure. You know how you're like, do I really need this? But I kept seeing all the reviews and everybody saying it was great. It reminds me a lot of the Love Palette and that's why I wasn't sure I wanted to get it but it's a little more plum, a little more mauve, a little more purple. Hold on. I kind of feel like, I don't know, is this too similar? No. <laughs> In my head, I'm gonna say no because then that helps me justify why I wanna keep it. So this is the Love palette over here. This is the Retro palette here. I do feel like they are similar, but they are not the same. So do I need both? Absolutely not. Am I keeping both? Yeah, <laughs> I definitely am. So I don't know, this one will be try. I'm gonna try this one pretty soon just because, I don't know, I need to see. I don't use the love one a lot and it's gorgeous. So it's kind of like, how much am I really gonna use this? I wanna try the shade Glitz because it kind of looks like a duochrome and then Jude, which is more of like a foiled shimmer shade. And I have to try Rebellion just because I think that is so pretty. That is a cream to powder formula. Let's see how dark a part is. Ooh, that's also a cream to powder. So those are the four shades there. So this is Glitz. Which does kind of look like a duochrome, like a pink to a gold, like a rose gold. Then this one is Jude. Beautiful, kind of taupey bronze shade. Then we have Rebellion. I love red burgundy shades like that. And then this last one is Apart, which is the deepest shade in the palette. So yeah. I kind of want to just see. Let me check. Hang on, guys. Okay, so here's Heart, which is the red in the Love palette which is definitely a lot more red than it is burgundy here. So that's different. I feel like, no, Glitz doesn't look like any of these. I feel like Soul and Amaro look very similar. No, Soul is lighter. 
This is Soul from the Love Palette. This is Amara from the Retro Palette. So they're different. Do you need both? No, but I'm a hoarder and I love eyeshadow, so I have them. And then to finish off, I told you guys I was gonna tell you what I picked up that has not come in yet. So I am waiting for, I think these were mostly just, I think one was a sale on sale and then the others were just last minute, the sale's about to end and I don't know, I was feeling some type of way. So first thing is this Origins, what's it called? This is the Ginseng Into Glow Brightening Serum. Told you guys I've been trying to work on the dark spots on my face since my acne has subsided a lot. And this had pretty good reviews, four and a half stars, 232 reviews. Says it's good for pores, dullness, and uneven texture. I did also pick up the Fenty Glossy, po Glossy Posse Fantasy Foursome Four Piece Gloss Bomb Set. This was $38, $52 value. It comes with four glosses and a lip cream. I've never tried any of her lip creams, so I was like, well, now would be a good time to try it. But next, I picked up the number three hair perfector. I picked up the big size of this one. I have used, I think, a whole bottle of the small one of this. I kind of forget about it because this one you're supposed to put, you're supposed to put it on wet, clean hair, then shampoo and condition your hair. If I'm gonna wet my hair, it's normally gonna be dirty and I'm about to wash it, so that's why I don't use it a lot, but I do like how my hair feels when I remember to use it. So I picked up the big size of that. And then I went ahead and I picked up the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I wanted this when it came out, but my skin was dry, so I knew it wasn't gonna work well. And it's probably not gonna work well during the winter because I'm more normal, a little combination during the summer, but winter, it's cold, my face is dry. So it's not going to probably be worn much until spring, summer. I picked up the shade Marquise, which is medium dark five. Marquises, whatever. And I'm pretty sure it's a little dark, but the shade before it was way too golden, too yellow, and I didn't like it. So I know I can make this work and I got a sample of it. I like the way it wears. Feels great, lightweight, great coverage. So I'm happy I finally picked it up. All right, that is finally it for my haul. I know I picked up a lot of stuff. I went from I'm not shopping to I'm still waiting for boxes. Most of the stuff I'm happy with, I told you guys what's going back, but I am gonna film a first impression soon so you can see everything applied or most of it because I can't all use all this at one time. But thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of the video. If you're still here, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you wanna see. Tell me what you guys picked up or if you decided not to do any shopping. If this is your first time here, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.